Good afternoon, brother, sisters, and gender norm resistors. It's time for another Blender Workshop with me, your host, Olaf. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to be continuing on with the uh, with the the Outer Worlds, uh, the Outer Worlds build. Uh, we've so we we've got the door made. We have the door. We have all the parts of the door. We have it so that we can actually use it fairly easily, and we can rotate it and fit it in wherever we want it, wherever we need it, and stuff like that, which is great and wonderful, beautiful, absolutely fantastic. But a door does nothing if it isn't put in with something else. If it's not like in a wall or something so that it can close off a section of a building or close off a building entirely. So we need to, uh, we need to build the wall around it. Uh, so that's what we're going to kind of be working on today. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Uh, jump on into Blender and uh, see what we can see what we can manage. So here we have our basic door. We have we have our door. We have it with our geometry nodes so that we can open and close it. If we go into here, we can say, "Hey, it's locked or it's unlocked." Super easy, open, close. Yeah, we've got it all done. Okay, great. But we need a, a wall of some sort. And there's, as you can see in our reference pictures, there's actually various different walls that it can be attached to. Um, some of them are like the shipping con containers. Some of them are more simplistic. Some of them are more detailed. Um, I really like the, the idea of putting in, putting it in like a shipping container type thing. So, um, we're going to go ahead and hide that for now. And we are going to bring in, uh, I'm going to go to my asset browser because in my asset browser, I have the outer world panel. So we're going to go ahead and bring that in. We're going to come to object. We're going to snap it to the cursor. So boom, we've got that set up. We've got the, you know, we, we have uh, everything there. We don't actually need to see our control for the door or anything like that. That's fine. So yeah, we've got just this basic panel outlet, panel set. Uh, we've got it set up so that it is perfectly square um it can be repeated you know if we if we come into here we can actually uh we can actually say you know we can we can add in a an array we could say merge And, you know, we, we can, we can look at it here and say, okay, yeah, that is, that is merged. There is a little bit of a line because we have the bevel on it. But if we say 0.99, boom, that bevel disappears. So, you know, we can have that, you know, we can have just a straight line of nothing but panels. And we can extend this out as far as we want to go. So we've got that set up perfectly, which is great. But uh, we want to, we, we, we need a couple things, a couple unique things for this. Um, and for that, we are actually going to have to duplicate this. And we're going to go ahead and hide the original. Now we're going to say rotate this by on the X by 90, and we're going to apply that rotation. So in order to get this done up properly, we need to add in a cube. Uh, we need to say, put it two on the Y. We're going to apply the scale because then we're going to say generate a bevel. And the bevel needs to be about a 0.6. And we're actually going to bump it up to 50 segments. We are going to make it very detailed. 
And we're probably going to want to scale this up by two just to make sure that we've got... See, just to make sure that we've got this, this, this corner here is nice and smooth. Now, we can also come in here and we can say shade smooth, and then we're going to add in the normals by angle. So now we've got that super smooth. And we're doing this for a very specific reason. So we are going to, so with this, we're going to, we're going to use an add-on here. We are going to use an add-on. We're gonna use our hard ops add-on to come into their mesh tools. And we're gonna to say dice this. So right now it's dicing it on the 50. We're gonna scroll or on the Z, we're gonna scroll up to, to 50, and then we're gonna apply it on the X and the Z. And what this does is if we come into face, this dices it up just on those angles so that everything is just right basically it's just like okay we're just you know it, it's as if you're taking the knife tool and you're just cutting straight across everything 50 times you know into 50 even even segments whole lot faster that's one of the benefits of hard ops but now we're going to add in a lattice And we're going to snap that, snap the selection to active. So now we have this lattice here, which is great. Now, one of the things that we do want to try, we do want to make sure of is that our, on, on our actual plate model, on our actual plating, we are going to want to take the origin. We're going to want to grab it on the Y we're going to want to bring it back to this outer edge. So now if we look at it, it is just right there on that back edge. That's where we want what we want. So with this lattice, we need to adjust the size, first of all, because we want this to be just about the same size as just a little bit bigger than our actual plate, than our actual model that we're gonna be modifying with it. And then we wanna make sure that on the Y axis, which is V for some reason, I don't understand the, the resolution numbers and stuff. I don't know why, but we want that to one. And now we're going to, we need to snap again, cause I forgot to do that. So now our lattice, is on the back side of these plates. And then we're going to want to take this lattice and we're going to want to say 50 and 50 so that it's the same as our plating. So everywhere that the, the plate has a, a square should be a square with, should be squared up with that. Um, it's a little bit off because of, you know, it's a little bit off because of the, the size difference, but that's fine. That's, that's not going to, it's not going to make much of an issue. So how do we, how do we make sure, so how do we bend this to our, our model? Well, we want to take our plates and we want to add in a modifier called, from deform called lattice and then we want to connect that to that lattice because if we if we come in and we take our lattice and let's say we we go into edit mode and we say take this vertex grab it around now you see how it's deforming that that model it's trying to keep that what that the 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 vertex that's closest the vertices that are closest to that in line with that so you know we can come out of out into object we can look at this and we can say oh hey so you see there's that because we pulled that one vertex out it's kind of bulging it out so we're telling it hey keep keep this model in line with the with this lattice 
Now, on the lattice, now, one, one of the things we want to do is to, in order to make sure that this is, is done properly, we want to say rotate on the Z by 45 degrees. That way, it's the normal of the, the normal is as close as possible to the way to where that that part is going to be angled out so if we move this in line with this this corner you can see how it's 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 kind of it's saying okay so yeah it's it's the 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 average normal the the most extreme normal of that corner everything's facing that way but now we want to take this lattice and we want to add a deform and we want to add a shrink wrap and we want that cube. So the lattice says, okay, so we're going to meld mold around this, this cube. Wherever we are placed, we are going to meld, we are going to shrink wrap to that, to that, that shape. And because our cube or because our our panel is also is is taking its positions and its curvature from the lattice everything's everything's being done so we're maintaining those shapes we're maintaining those individual little shapes but we're curving it around this object now it does have a little bit of wonkiness here as far as the edge there, but we can say, take our lattice and scale that on the X, on the individual X, just out a little bit so that there's no, so that it's not ending prematurely. So there we go. That's got that. So now we have a nice curvature, a, a nice curved object. Let's make sure that there's no wonkiness at the top or at the bottom. Nope. Looks like top and bottom are just fine. Excellent. Mostly because it's not changing. It's the normal isn't changing drastically. So there's one. Now I do want to say duplicate that because we're going to apply that that lattice. So now if we say take this one object out, we have that same curvature. So now that is just that is the object. It is curved just right. But now if we come in here and we say that that panel, we want to say rotate on the individual Y by 90 degrees. And because it's a perfect square, it's going to keep that. So we want to say duplicate that. We want to apply that modifier. And then we want to grab it on the X and we move it out. So now we've got another curve, another edge, a curved edge, but it's at a 90 degree angle so it's going so we can put these two side by side and people can say wow that's that's something different and then we just want to do that again we want to say rotate on the double click double y to make sure that it's on the 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 relative y 90 degrees we're going to say shift d to duplicate we're going to apply that we're going to grab it on the x and we're going to move it out So now we've got three of them. E again, each of them is rotated at a, a 90 degree angle so that they look, so that those plates, those individual pieces of the plate are arranged differently. So we're just gonna do this one more time. Double Y, 90 degrees. Oh, nope. Rotate double Y, 90 degrees. And on this one, we can just apply all the modifiers grab it on the X and now we've got all three of those so we've got 
four individual we've got four individual plates each of them is just a little bit different from each other all it is all it is is that they are rotated 90 degrees on the individual axis so now if we come in here and we say uh we want to affect it on the individual origins we say rotate on the y by 90 degrees rotate on the x by negative 90 and then we just kind of space them out a bit more so now see we could have this run of you know we could have these just being that like the top corner of a wall but because they're all just a little bit different it's not going to look like a repeated pattern and that's what you want you want it just kind of you know a a you know you want just these different patterns so we're going to actually add in a new collection right now and we're going to say edges and we're just going to put all of these into the edges hey there Ras. so now we have the edges for this for for a con, for a shipping container for a wall whatever we want And knowing how to do it, we did it in about 18 minutes. Under 18 minutes, actually. So we no longer need these, so we can actually delete those. We can delete this cube, because again, we don't need it anymore. We have our individual corner, you know, we have our edge pieces, so we can make a wall where the edge pieces are fit just fine the corners now the corners are a lot more trick are a lot trickier um they're a lot more difficult to deal with and we're not going to really worry about those right now so we want to bring it back in our door frame so now we're going to try now we want to build in a wall um, now, just for, for, so that we're not messing with anything else as far as our geometry nodes and stuff like that, we're going to say geometry node editor, we're going to add in a plane, and we're going to say new. And we're going to say we do not want the, the actual geometry of the plane. We don't need that. What we do need, though, is we need the outer world plane here. And then we're going to want, now we need points. So we need points to say, we, we need points in order to instance something on. Um, one of the easiest ways to do that is do a mesh line. Now you could do a grid if you're going to do like a multiple, you know, it's going to be multiple stories. So you're going to want multiple th things up and down. Um, actually, we're going to go ahead and try that. We're going to go ahead and try, we're going to go ahead and do in a grid as well. So let's really open this up. So we've got a grid and we've got a mesh line. So now we want to say instance on points. Now, if we say, take our geometry here, there. So now you see we've got a, a we've got it set to offset, uh, offset. We've got a specific count of ten, and right now it's going. We're starting at z, z of zero and going up to one. So in that one meter, we are we are doing up. 10 of those now if we decrease our count 
it's not really going to matter because we're just offsetting it by we're basically okay so we're actually offsetting it by one meter but if you look at it we're not really you know let's let's say relative we're going to say as instance but we need to transform that so we want to transform the geometry and we want to say on the x we want to say 90 degrees so now we can move our start location on the x over because we're not offsetting it on the x we're fine but we want to offset you know if we want to offset it there we can say boom so now we've got two of those plates side by side, you know, well, run on top, one on top of the other. So we're starting to build out the wall. And this looks, you know, this looks good. For just the plates, it looks good. But we do need to have something else. So let's go ahead and bring these forward because the plates don't have anything in the middle. So we're going to want to add in a, uh, we're going to want to add in a mesh object, mesh primitive, a cube, and we're going to need a join geometry in order to have both of these together. So we've got that. Now we can change the size just here or we can say a transform geometry again and now we can say move this on the x so we can move this basically out so that it's just inside that door frame but we want to skinny it we want to make it skinnier on the y so that it's actually just inside because we want that door frame to Basically, we want that door frame to be visible, but we do not want our actual door when it's oh when our door is open. We do not want that poking through this. So if we say increase the size on the Z. So now we've got a good solid door. And we can, again, we can adjust the Y so that we are just hiding that. So now we've got a, a, a block that is doing just fine. So that is 0.45 meters. So if we take our, if we take our mesh and we say, okay, so 0.45, it was, we say negative 0.45 we're still off because it's going from the center so we want to say negative 0.45 divided by 2 and that should just be on the face of that now so we want to bring our x in a bit here so if we look at that we've got our plates are just are essentially just on top of that um just on top of that that box essentially but we need to adjust the size on the on the x so it's not going to be just this simple you know just this simple thing But our first thing we need to, one of the first things we need to work on is we need to work on the size of our plates because our, the size of our plates are a little off. So we're going to want to change that. And so we're going to want that to change that on the Y so that it's taking up most of that, that, 
that box, basically. Most of that cute. So I'm going to say a 1.65 looks good. 1.65 looks good. It's We've got a gap, and if we put another block on top for a row across the top, we'll be fine. So 1.65, but it needs to be square. So 1.65. And now we can adjust the position on the X here. Now we're gonna say a zero. We're gonna say no offset right now. So if we add, if we add our to our count, it's not offsetting anything because it is just, it's there's no offsets. There's no offset vector here. So it's just stacking them right on top of one another. But now we can say so this is offset by 0.285. So we want to say, no, we don't want to affect the scale. We want our box into here. Now we want to extend that out. And it's probably better to, to look at this in the the actual like textured mode because then we can really see where this needs to be so if we say make that a bit bigger negative 2.8 even no okay negative 2.85 so now see we've got this this just perfect we've got this just perfect um, now we want to extend it out because we do want it basically going into that, that door frame. So with that going into the door frame, we may want to go ahead and actually bring this in a bit so that it's just about there. Bring the size down. And again, it's just a matter of finding what works just right. So see, that's going fully into our door frame, but it's extending out just the same. So we've got that. So basically we have that side of the door, that side of the door just fine. Um, now if we say we want a count of two, but we want it offset on the Y or on the, the X, we can make that, we can basically do that along and just boom, 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 boom. And that's fine. However, we're not affecting the, the box. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to say duplicate this mesh line and duplicate the instance on points. And we're gonna say, we are going to say, this is an instance. We're going to reset everything there and we're going to say instance on point. So now we have, we are instancing not only the plate, but we are also instancing the, 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 the interior part of the wall. And now if we say we want a count of two, but we want to offset it on the X to there. And now if we say build up the count, we can make this wall as long as we want or as short as we want. So I'm thinking we're just going to make it a couple, two, two, we're going to make it two. We're going to make it a set of two and say boom. There's that. But now we want to flip it around. We, we want to flip it around. So we're going to say 
a transform geometry. Bring you up here. We're going to bring in a join geometry down here. And we're going to say you in there. And we're going to say on the X, we're going to make it a negative one. So now we have it basically flipped around on that center point. On that origin point, we have it flipped around. So now if we say add in another wall, add in another wall, we're, ex we're adding it to both sides with just one controller because we have it set to, because we're, we're mirroring it basically. Now the tricky part is, the really tricky part is going to be adding in the, the curve. So yeah, the, the really tricky part is gonna be adding in that curve. Now we could also say, do this stuff again. And we're going to, so we're gonna bring this up. The tricky part with, with instancing it th up is we need something for that center. We need something for where the door is. So looking at that, um, we might actually want to say, you know what? I, I think we're actually gonna wanna say uh, an offset of zero and zero. Let's come back to, to this, this center point here, this, this point right here. And we're going to want to say an offset of zero. Uh, all right, so we want the start location to be, uh, what was it? It was negative, it was 4.5. So we want you at negative, Point, point 0.45 divided by two, boom. Now you're back in front. So we're going to kind of change things so that it's a bit more, it's, it's a lot easier, it's gonna be a lot easier to work with. So here we want you into, well, should be point 3.33. So now we've got an even edging and everything like that. So let's think about this. Let's let's think about this here. So now we're going to want to say, so we've got that, we've got that set just fine. But see if we come in here and we say this one, now it's kind of doubling up in the middle because we're doing a negative, because we're doing a negative one. So we can, so this will, this will bring it back to the, 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 this, the, basically back to there. Um, and we can add on just as much. So with our negative one, we're actually going to want to say the start point should be 3.33. And we're gonna want to offset it by 3.33 on the X. And then if we say, bring you there. Oh, nope, not on the scale we want. Okay, so the, the this one is this one's no good. This one's no good. So we're gonna want 
this one here, we're going to want it offset by 3.33, but we're going to want the start location at 3.33 as well. So now if we say put this in, and then we say connect, take this geometry up to the instance. So now see we're adding there. So this one, so now just, just to make sure that we, we have it, uh, we, we have it set properly. We want to say uh, value and we're going to say a math node because we want this value minus one or no well we could just say one subtract one from it and we're going to say u to there and u to there so now see if we have uh no we we want so if we say one or no we want we do not want that there we want u here. So now we have, so if we say one, we've got it, boom. But if we say two, now we're adding in. And if we say three, see, because of the center one is now set to three, but this next one is set to two. So we're good there. So if we say, take this, uh, we're going to say, take this value, we're going to add it to the input. And then we're going to say this value down to here. And we're going to open up our end panel. We're going to say our group, we're going to say value number of panels. And instead of a float, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's an integer. Uh, minimum is zero, maximum we'll say is 50. I mean, it's, it's not really gonna matter. But if we come in here and we say, okay, number of panels. So we have one pan, so we have one panel, two panels, three panels, four panels, five panels. So again, we can set that, we can say, hey, that's fine. Now, as you can see, it is we do have a slight, just a slight little smidge of a problem where it's blocking the door. So, what we're gonna need is, we are going to need another, uh, we're gonna need another cube. So we're gonna say, add in a cube. And we're just gonna make that singular right now. So we're just gonna focus on that cube because we want this to be sized up to fit in that door. So we want it out to about here. We want it about to about there. I think that should work just fine. Make sure that it's covering the bottom. Make sure that it's not going outside of the bounds there. Because then we're going to want to say a Boolean. Nope, not like that. We're going to want to say Boolean mesh Boolean. Yes. So. Now we need to make sure that we set this up right. So it's going to be, see that's backwards. So we actually want this one down here and this one up here, right? Oh wait, maybe because that's not a mesh. So we actually need to realize instances. All 
All right. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now you see, now we've got that door set just fine. And if we increase that number, now because of the Boolean, it is working really, really slow. So we've got that Boolean, we've got that set just right. So we've got, uh, we, we need to, we need to change a couple different things here. So we're going to bypass that Boolean for right now. Because we also need to take this same thing. We're going to say a mesh line instance on points. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to bring that down to here. We're going to say this geometry into the instance. This instance down here into the geometry here. Because we do not want it on there. We do not need a to, to differentiate the, the start. But we do need the it on the X. So if we say 3.33, that should be a perfect set. So now we can say... We can take our group input here and we're going to say... Boom... We're going to say you are height. So now we have the height in, in panels. So we can say number of panels. We want two panels out, three panels out. We'll, we'll go three panels out and we'll go two panels high. So now we have that. And then if we, at, in the Boolean, it's going to take a few seconds, but it's going to take a lot of seconds, apparently. But now we have the door. Now we have the hole for the door. And you can't really see that. I mean, if you really look up at just the right angle on the bottom here, you'll see it for that section. But if we say, so we want to come in here and we want to say, take you. And we want to say, fully open. We say, close. You see how it's not sticking out, but the door can close and open. And it's not, you know, and, and we have a an actual wall with it. And like I said, we can adjust that wall. Now, one of the problems I have with this is it looks too uniform. If you look at these, these panels should always be, should, should be a little bit different. So what we're going to find, what we're going to do, we're going to finish up with tonight, with today is we are going to make these panels randomly rotated on their, their individual axis. So each panel is going to look just a little bit different. Again, because the panels are, you know, a, a perfect me a, a perfect uh, a perfect square, basically, um, we are going to, Ooh, you know, something I just thought of. Something I just thought of is we do have an, a bit of an issue as far as where these panels are placed. I do have a little bit of an issue with where these panels are placed because. Oh, that's right. We still have the Boolean on. The Boolean is going to... Because anytime you, ch anytime you ch change anything, you're, it, it recalculates the Boolean. It has to recalculate a whole bunch of shit. And we don't need that. So once it calculates everything out, 
We're, we're going to change uh, just a couple of things here. We're going to change just a couple of things. So we are going to, number one, we are going to bypass this Boolean. But with our panels... They currently have just a, a solid a, a solid Z scale. So we want to scale this Z up just to the point where they are poking through. So So it looks like that needs to be on the, about a 21, maybe 22, maybe, uh, 22, we might go up, we actually might go up to 23 just to get a nice, a nice deep panel cut. I like that. So now the benefit of the, the benefit of doing it this way is that it's now on both sides. So no matter which way you're coming at it you have that same okay so 23 might be a bit much 22 let's try let's try splitting it 22.5 so now it's not coming through so we do still have a pretty decent depth but it's not coming through our door frame because that we do not want we do not want it coming through the door frame so all right so now we need to figure out how to shift these around on, I think it's on the Z axis. No, it's not on the Z axis. It must be on the Y axis. Yeah. So we want to be able to shift it around on the Y axis by 90 degrees. Because if we shift them all on 90 degrees, they still fit. They still look great. But we don't want everything shifted the same. We want it kind of randomized. So, uh, let's, let's, so if I remember correctly, it's supposed to be, we need a random value that is an integer and we want minimum of zero, maximum of three. So we have zero, one, two, and three. So we have four, four integers there. And then we need to come in here we need to say a math node we need to multiply it but we need to multiply it by pi divided by two so we can actually one of the beautiful things with geometry nodes and blender in general is because it's all mathematical we can hit pi divided by two enter and there you go you don't have to break out the calculator or try and do all the numbers in your head. So now we want to say a combine, our favorite combine X, Y, Z, and we need it on the Y axis. And then we say there, except for it's a vector going into there. So we need to say a line Euler 2 vector No Okay so Oh, right. Okay, so that is, that's, that's, I'm, I'm sure that's right.
Okay, let's take this just out to our output real quick. So the problem is, is we have a vector there, but we need to change the vector into rotation. So if we say rotate vector, no. Okay. Uh, rotate the rotation. Okay, so we need to convert it from a vector to a rotation. That's that's what we need to do. Vector rotate maybe. No. Let's see here. Uh, let's take a look at what we have here. So we have... What if we do Euler 2 rotation? So we have the Euler 2 rotation. So we need it to go from a pink triangle to a pink circle. This is kind of where we go to get a little bit. Uh, let me take a look here. Let me make sure I've got everything right. I thought I did, but. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I had it. I had it right, but I had it. I, w I was going into the wrong thing. So we actually want to take this into the points on instance. So now if we take you into here, But now we want to say duplicate this. We want to say this as the instance and this on the mesh line. And you're not doing it right. All right, let's... Oh, because we don't have any, because it's not instancing that on any points. So that should be, if we set that up to there, that should be all right, but it's not. All 
All right, we're gonna say duplicate this. We're gonna take all of these offsets off so that it's just the simple there. So we say you to there, you to here, you to here. And now if we say this combined one, All right, so that should be... So see, it's, but it's doing all of them. See, the problem is, is that it's, it's not changing them on the individual basis. But now see this one. So if we say this one, now they're being changed. So, all right. So, see, they are changing here. So if we say negative 3.33, so actually we, wait, can we just say plug you into here, plug you into here? So now see they're all being changed that way. Okay, so we do, we can do it. All right, we can do it. Give me just a moment here because I need to run to the bathroom real quick and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and finish this up. All right, so we have, all right, so we've got that proper, we've got that, that, we have the instance, so we do not need this instance. We don't need this mesh line because we can add them on and they are going to be kind of randomly rotated a bit. Um, again, we only have four different rotations, so you're gonna have some that are going to be, you know, that are gonna be the same one side by side. 
Now, if we come in here, so let's see here. So we've got all of that, great. So if we say, take a look at you, So we've got this one uh, right. So okay, so that the problem is, is that this is just the single, the single one. So we actually are going to want. Uh, an instance on points. We're going to want to say this is an instant. And we're going to want to say this one to here so that when we combine these two. Now, if we say add in, we're adding in randomized ones, but we're adding it at that rate. Okay. So we're going to put a break here so that we can bring this down so that this is all kind of, yeah, so this is all just done there. And then we say here, so yes. So now see, we're getting, we're getting those randomized panels just fine there. But if we say come in here, Oh. So let's take a look at this. So because we are So See the problem is is that we're ha is the, the problem that we're having is is that we've We've kind of made everything else, everything beyond that point, um, a prob problematic at best. Okay, so let's delete all this stuff. We're going to delete all of that. And we're going to, so we've got it on one side. So now we want, all right, let's think about this. Think about this logically. So here we have our panels. So we want those panels to be going the opposite direction as well. So we're going to need another mesh line, but we're going to need this one going 3.33 on the positive. And then we're going to want to say control shift D all of that. And we want the points to go into there. And if we say join those up in the geometry, minus that, we say make that the, the one that we're looking at. So now, as long as this one is, right, and we want the start to be 3.33, okay. So now we want our, so see, as we add that in, that's, those are being randomized as well. Okay. So.
now, so we want our math node here. And we want to say subtract by one. So number of panels into here, value into here. And number of panels into here. So now we say one panel, two panels, three panels, four panels, but they're all being randomized, so they're not the standard, just cookie cutter, hey, it's just this. So now if we join this, we've got them on one side, so we also want So, all right, let's duplicate this and we're gonna bring this up here. Because we are going to want to say duplicate this. We're gonna say the points to here, geometry to there. And we're just gonna say pump this into the joint geometry. So now we have this, this same thing, except for, for some reason, on this side, everything's a little bit off. So... Oh, because that's negative three, negative three point three point three three, not three point three seven. Okay, there we go. So now, as we say, we subtract them down, we add them up. We're doing good. I just realized we deleted our. I just realized that we had that we actually deleted our <laughs> boolean, which is not great, but that's fine. That that is we c we can deal with that. Now the problem that we have now we're going to come up with a problem if we say hey take you guys. Wait, no, we want to say take our mesh line and our instance, and we say, boom, down to here, and we say, pump that geometry into here, that geometry into there, but instead of on the X, we want it on the Z. And we want to say another join geometry here because we want the original as well. Is anything that we go up is going to be is going to have that exact same that exact same everything. Not exactly how we want it. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. I mean, it does it does take away from the randomness, though. I want that randomness. I want, like, complete chaos. I want that complete chaos. So, that one... So, the, the, that, simplicity, that simplistic one is not going to be... set right. So, all right. So, let's think about this as far as... So if we say 3.33, and we say take this one into here, and we bring you into the join geometry, now we have that one,
so now see we should have all right we need the we need that rotation as well we need that randomized rotation as well so now we've got randomized rotation But see, it's just, we're just doing it on the, the, the one, on the one axis. So, let's try something. I want to try something here as far as, so, we're going to take you guys off. We're going to take all of you and you, and we're going to duplicate you. And we're gonna try. We're we're gonna try doing instead of that. We're instead of the mesh line. We're gonna try the grid. So we're gonna say mesh to grid. We're gonna say put those instances up here. We're gonna say that instance. So 6.66. So see, the problem is, is we can't do it by count. We can't do it by simple count because can't take oh yeah we can't take that down to one okay so see three is just fine for that but if we go with four then we need to add in we need to take this plus 3.33 to make it even which isn't bad it's not bad okay so boom so we can do that but we can't go but it's an X and a y not an X and a Z we want we really want it X and Z. So, all right, what if we say, take a integer and we're gonna say a math node. So we want to multiply this by 3.33. So if we say an integer into there and then we say the value there and this one to there, so now we say one, we say two, we say three, we say four. It's not quite adding that up. Okay. What if we say add? No, it's not quite doing that either. So. See, for each one we want Three point, we want it to go up by 3.33. 3, 3. So if we say 4, boom. I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to do the math in my head. And this is, it's not, it's not playing well. So it's not a multiple of, it's each time we're adding 3.33. So what if we say start with 3.33 So we want to add it by 
so each integer we want this so each integer we want that we want to add 3.33 for each integer but we want to start with 3.33 and then add Is that right No, it's not. Because now we're we're start so Oh man, this is getting heavy. <laughs> this is getting really heavy. So I'm thinking we're just going to go ahead and say hmm. Yeah, this is this is this is getting this is getting frustrating. Cuz it's like I know what I want to do, I'm just not sure of the maths on it. So for every one, we want 3.33. So we start off at 3.33 for one, for two. So for two, we have one at 3.33. For three, we want at 6.66. So we want to, so we want it at 3.33 for two. And then everyone over two, we want to add. So what if we say greater than two? If it's greater than two, then we say. Add 3.33 for that. So then we say there, and we say here, we say integer to there. So two, three, now. If value is greater than two, then it goes into here. Otherwise, it's a zero. What if we say three? This one. You see, it shouldn't be adding anything there because it's not greater than three. This is greater than three. See, this is, yeah, this is, this is really, this is really, this is really weird. Because I know there's a way of saying, hey, if it's greater than three, then do this. If it's less than three, then do that. I know there's a way of doing it. But as, as is, we can just say, you know, we're just going to say this one here. So for right now, we're just going to say boom like that. 
and we're going to say the height the the height is we're going to add into here so we've got the height should be So height can go down to zero and can go up to whatever. Default is going to be zero. Why is the height not going up? Oh, because we don't have it there. <laughs> there we go. That's better. So now we can make really tall buildings. We can make really wide buildings. And we're just going to need to, you know, so we've got the front that done. We've got the front done with the exception of adding in these, these individual things. So our next fun bit is going to be adding in these curved parts at the top so that we actually can have a a proper a, a proper curved thing. Um, in order to do that though, we're gonna have to figure out what size cylinder we're gonna need for this. And stuff like that. I mean, ideally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, grab this on the Y, we're gonna say, grab it on the Y again, but we're gonna latch it to there, we're gonna grab it to there. I mean, ideally, what we're gonna have is we're gonna have. something like this. So we're going to have this kind of curvature type thing about here. And then we can scale it up so that it's right there. We're going to say boom. So ideally, we're going to want some, this like along here. Um, probably have it back a little bit on the Y to just right there. So, you know, ideally we're going to have something that kind of like this to the point where, you know, we have this curvature, you know, we have a curved, uh, a, a curve and stuff like that there. Um, just out of curiosity, I do want to go ahead and say, put in a cylinder 64 we're gonna rotate you on the Y by 90 see we may have to make a we, we may have to make a, an actual plate for that so that it's just boom 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 so that it's just all all the same um, we may have, yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to have to do, where it's, we're going to have, we are going to have to make a, an actual plate for it. But that's, that's going to have to wait until next time. That's going to have to wait until next time, because we've, we've already been going for about an hour and a half. But we do have a, but we, we are capable of making a wall. Um, now I am going to probably figure out how to, if how to how, how do you work with the if greater than this then th then do this if less than this do that type of thing um because i think that's that's the key i think that's what we need to do as far as making a grid and maybe see if we can't make a grid that goes you know up and down rather than you know so that the y is on you know so that the y is actually on the z 
Um, I mean, I suppose we could do, say, s separate X, Y, Z. And then, say, combine the X, Y, Z. And we're going to put the X to the X, but the, we're going to put the Y to the Z. So let's give that a try. Let's give that a try. Well, okay, yeah, we're 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 not getting that. Yeah, we're 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 not getting that properly. Okay, so no big deal. Like I said, I mean, you know, as far as the height, I mean, you're not going to have a massively high a high building because you know stuff like that. We we would actually like duplicate that and say, okay, change the seed so that it's going to be. So that it's it's a so that it's different but yeah um so yeah that's that's where we're gonna end for today let's go ahead and and bring our height down see what we're going to be seeing as far as that and we'll go ahead and put in our cube again so We'll say add in a cube. We're going to measure it out so that it's just there. We're going to measure it up so that it's just there. And we're going to go ahead and Boolean the mesh. Right, we need to realize the mesh. Realize the instance so that it actually counts as a mesh. Do you self-intersect? We'll give it a moment to, to, to do all the math for us. that backwards I might have had that backwards my bad there we go that's better so now we can say you we're gonna say we're gonna open you up about like that And we're gonna go ahead and take a snapshot of that. Let's try doing a snapshot. So, okay, there we go. That has got that done just fine. So yeah, we've got 
we've got all of these panels that are just, you know, okay, the panels may not be perfect squares, so they're a little bit janky as far as the height of the, the actual, of some of the panels, but we do have it set up properly. So we have it so that once we figure out how to put in a plate on this one, we can say, hey, you know, we're going to do this and this and this and this and set it up so that those go along perfectly with that. And we can actually have like a one story building with a roof, the whole nine yards. It'll look great. It We, we, we are on our way. That is that is the the important part is we are on our way. And of course, one of the benefits of having these curvatures here is that, you know, that's curved for the top. If we say rotate U on the Y by 90, boom. Now we can say bring this in and we'll do it. You know, and we can say, hey, you know, we want to scale you up. And we've got it, you know, and we've got it so that we can say, hey, you know, we've got a corner piece, we've got a top piece, we've got a corner piece, we've got all of those just set just right. And we can actually build, you know, and like I said, with once we get the plates for those, the, the inner, the inner bulk of it for those, we can have a proper exterior for a building. And it will look beautiful. It will look great. I promise you. I, I promise you. It will look good. But uh, we're going to go ahead and control, hit a control S to save there. And okay, yeah. I haven't applied any of the, the changes. So we can get those all back to the same, same size, the same rotation and everything. Cool. All right. So yeah, that's where we're going to end for today. Oh my goodness! This was uh, this was this was a bit of a this was a bit of a a bit of a challenge. This was a this was a bit of a challenge, a bit of a learning process. And like I said, uh, we'll we'll figure out some of the other stuff. Like like I said, I can I'll figure out the maths and everything next time. Um. So yeah, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to be kept up to date of when we go live and stuff like that, make sure to ring the bell. Um, also check out the social media links down below, the Facebook page, the Twitter account, the Tumblr account, and the permanent invite for our Discord server. All that so that you can stay tuned for more. Bravo Love Productions. Here we go.